Ich meine, man soll die, die Freiheit und die Kontrolle genießen und, und auch das als ein Ort der Freiheit begreifen und das vollkommen ausleben. Genauso wie I work with uh, sculpture mainly and uh, installation. My work generally deals with uh, issues of uh, social, cultural, political importance, uh, often historical. I consider myself uh, an activist to some degree uh, and an artist. Um, I'm, I'm very skeptical of the combination of those two. I think art is a space that uh, does something different from activism. Certainly it can be part of uh, activist movements, social movements, things like that. Um, but I think it's also important that art maintains a special status uh, in relation to reality, let's say. Uh, as activists, um, even we could say as as active participants in a democratic society, uh, we try to change material reality or to strengthen the, 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 th the things that we like about our society um, by actively being involved. Art, I think, is something that stands outside of uh, these material concerns and, uh, you know, I hope offers a space for uh, reflection, for um, a questioning and for imagining um, uh, things that uh, don't yet exist, for instance, or ways of thinking about things uh, that we struggle with in society in new ways. We made a trip to, to Ghana to connect with the um, art program at the university, the Kwame Nkrumah. National University of Arts and Sciences, which has a remarkable art program uh, with many students in the bachelor's, in master's, and in PhD. Uh, it's located in Kumasi. The field trip was initiated uh, by one of the students in my class, uh, a curator and artist from Uganda, actually, named Violet Nantume. And Violet had spent time already in Ghana and knew many people there and, and had connections at the university. And so uh, we worked together to put this whole trip together for the group of students from Haaf Bika. We visited some artists and studios in, in Accra, and then we spent a week at the university in Kumasi with the students and professors there, and did seminars and workshops, presented our work to each other. It was really, uh, for, I think for all of us, all the students, and certainly for me, was a really profound experience. Um, and the, the quality of work that the artists in Ghana are doing was astounding. Um, the discourse was amazing. Uh, they have just very sophisticated understanding of what they're doing as artists, with how their work relates to um, international notions of, of art history and context, philosophical contexts, European context, but uh, also uh, the African context and the local context for people, uh, uh, artists from different places in Ghana. So it was, it was quite uh, an extraordinary experience. As a result of that, we, we presented that to uh, Martin Kettering, the president uh, at Haf Bika, with a proposal to try and uh, make a, a formalized exchange and, and to continue this um, between K and UST and Haf Bika. Yeah, teaching is, uh, is something I've been doing for a long time. Um, and in a way, it's hard for me to separate uh, the teaching uh, from my practice as an artist because uh, in a way I grew up as an artist and developed as an artist as I was developing as a teacher. And uh, it's hard to imagine not teaching, actually. <laughs> Um, after so many years. I think there's, there's wonderful things about it and, and it's productive. It's, it's, you know, as I get older, it's, it's very productive for me to be connected to young artists and the energy and imagination and the kind of new things that each generation is, 
is bringing forward um, in their work and in their worldview. Uh, so that's, that's exciting and energizing for me. And, you know, I hope uh, I'm able to stay relevant to young artists as they come into school. As I get older, uh, of course, uh, I have a, a longer history of experience um, and hopefully knowledge <laughs> um, to bring uh, into the classroom to share. And so I look at it as, as you know, um, when it's working well, it's a, it's a shared relationship. The classroom is a place where we're, we're sharing information and knowledge and learning from each other and developing together. And that, that certainly is something that influences my work, in, you know, in my own practice. The difficult thing about it is, of course, the time and energy that it takes in, in one's life, you know, to try and have a balanced life between working, teaching, and the studio and, and the family. So that's, that's always a balancing act. But so far, I would say uh, it's been a very productive and fulfilling um, uh, way of working, yeah. I think the goal in, in, in the classroom for me is, is for, for students to really um, get to know themselves uh, as artists uh, and develop more fully their own voice in their work, um, to become more fully themselves and to um, bring that into their works. Along with that, uh, I try to uh, encourage an understanding of one's work in relation to all the other artists working today and historically so that they have an understanding of where their practice fits in uh, into contemporary debates, uh, contemporary uh, artists working today uh, with, a, with an understanding also of what are the kind of historical precedents for the type of work that they're doing. I think this is very important to have that understanding of what you're doing outside of yourself. Um, and, you know, I think with those kinds of beginnings, let's say, um, Hopefully, one is prepared to go out and enter the world and to begin to show and exhibit and, and engage in the, in the art world discourse, uh, whatever that may be. There are many art worlds. Um, and I try not to create hierarchies between different ways of working, um, but, but for the students to find the best place for them to exhibit. If that's in the commercial gallery world, fine. If it's in... Uh, a more nonprofit uh, or a collective or a collaborative uh, way, um, that's fine too. So, uh, whatever whatever way and ways in which the student feels um, most drawn to and most compelled to work in, that's that's where they should be. You know, I try to facilitate connections in that regard. So, if I can help students um, begin their journey. Um, towards becoming practicing artists, then uh, I, do, I do as much as I can in that regard. Um, I try not to encourage them to do what I do. <laughs> they need to find their own way uh, in the world as artists and, you know, also as people. <laughs>